How are we doing guys? Welcome to the Snowy Cotswolds. Um, so this channel is going to be about my motorsport hobby which is uh, speed hill climb. Uh, well actually sprinting as well but I'm predominantly uh, a hill climber. Um, I'm going to take you around the car in a minute but uh, for those people who don't know what hill climbing is, uh, imagine a 12 foot wide road and anything from a Nissan Micra to an Indy or F1 special car uh, that can out accelerate a Formula One car up to about 140 miles an hour. And they also pull about three and a half, four G around the corners. Uh, so I'm hopefully going to take you around next year and follow, you can follow me for the whole season of racing. Um, I'm a complete novice. So my history is in mountain biking rather than motorsport. I had no motorsport experience whatsoever. And then I followed hill climb for years as a spectator and I uh, bought myself a little Renault Clio. I did three events in that. And I thought, do you know what? I actually quite like this. And it's absolutely spiraled since. Uh, it's such a friendly sport. Um, so I decided after three events in the Clio to, to go all in and I bought a single seater, which I will show you in a second. Uh, the performance jump was quite a surprise. So as I say, hopefully we're gonna, you're going to come through the season with me. I've got some really interesting cars to see throughout the winter. Um, and hopefully we'll get a video every couple of weeks. That's the plan anyway. Uh, I'd like to say a big thank you to Empire for sorting me out for, over the last couple of years. They've been really, really helpful. Uh, Motor Oils for supporting me with, uh, with their products. And lastly, Mr. Ben Bonfield, who did a video on how to edit YouTube videos specifically for me. So Ben, you're a legend, thank you. And no further ado, let's go and have a look at the car. So here we are. This is a uh, single seat hill climb car. Uh, you can use them for sprinting as well, but this one was uh, more designed towards hill climbs. It's very lightweight, 281 kilos, full space frame chassis, and carbon wings front and back. Aerodynamics uh, done by Willem Toit involved heavily with F1. GSX-R 1000 engine and it's got any open tyres on at the moment. These are um, semi-slicks. Uh, it runs full slicks really. Um, those tyres are actually at uh, Empire because the car's off to some winter work. The car looks a bit strange. It looks as if it's floating almost because it hasn't got the, um, what some people call that the diffuser, the floor. Um, we've purchased a second hand floor for this car which is being fitted this winter which should give us a massive gain in downforce so the, the car is an empire evo 00 uh, it's manufactured in bridgewater uh, by bill chaplin and ron his assistant a uh, great bunch of chaps um, pretty old school but have been so so helpful um, i i was looking for a used car and there was really nothing around um, and uh, chat Tom said to me you should give Bill a ring and see what he can do uh, this car was built brand new in 2020 so I phoned Bill and uh, typical laid-back Bill style he said right you better come down and see me then so I was driving down to Bridgewater and I said Rob whatever you do don't buy it just look I was in there 25 seconds 30 seconds maybe sat in another uh, driver's tub and shook his hand and said I'll have the car uh, slightly elongated process due to COVID. Nothing to nothing to do with Bill or Empire. They, it's not their fault. You know the supply of materials was uh, was quite difficult. And even if I had the car, I wouldn't be able to drive it anyway. Um, so I first got the car in July 2020, but only had a few shows out in the car. Um, but to say it was a bit of a baptism of fire would be an understatement. So what sort of performance do you think we can get out of this then? Well, to put it in perspective, this car went faster than an Aerial Atom V8 driven by Tiff Nadell at Gersten Down Hill Climb. That's a £120,000 car with 475 horsepower. Uh, this car is a lot less than that. It depends on the spec, but a lot, lot less than that. And only running about 160 horsepower. So the performance for value for money is incredible. Here we are then, the body removed. This is a GSX-R 1000 K8, it's a 2008 year model. A reliable engine with plenty of power from the factory. 
running into the diff here and then from there into these drive shafts. The engine I think the factory figure is about 180 horsepower from the factory but by the time you go through the chain and drivetrain loss uh, I reckon probably about 160 horsepower. Now, like I said this one's completely bog standard. Um, it runs a mono shock on the front on the side. Pedal box is very similar to a car, uh, clutch, brake, accelerator. Some of the cars run hand clutches um, and paddle shift. Um, not in the budget at the moment but um, I'm certainly enjoying the car as it is. It's pretty simple to drive. You just literally clutch in and you push the lever forward. Actually I'll show you, it'll be easier. So you've got the gear lever down here, clutch in, push forward for first, let the clutch up, and then after that it's clutchless, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. However, you do have to let up off the accelerator to pull the gears in. Uh, it's two degrees out here, and the poor old girl, I've just dragged her out of, uh, I've just dragged her out of the shed. It's been in storage. So uh, I don't know if she's going to start, but we'll uh, give her a go. So super simple to run. Mission on. Let's see up there, we're in neutral. <coughs> so the exhaust is uh, handmade by Empire Racing Cars, put it wrong. As a Yoshimura R77 silencer on there. It's actually from a slightly newer GSXR, but they managed to make it fit. And that, in a nutshell, is an Empire Evo.